was say 2020 integrated science paper one so in this video all the problems involving calculations are solved so let's start with question 15 the number of protons in an ion with a charge of plus 3 is 13 how many electrons are present in the neutral atom notes in the neutral atom so from the question the charged atom is having proton number of 13 the electron number of 10 proton number doesn't change so in the neutral atom the proton number is also what 13 and another point is that in a neutral atom the proton number and the electron number are the same so if proton number is 13 in the neutral atom the electron number is also what 13 so the correct answer is b question 19 Calculate the number of moles in 5.85 gram of sodium chloride. So from the question, we know the mass of sodium chloride to be 5.58 grams. Molar mass is 58.5 gram per mole using the relation n is equal to m over m the n here is the number of moles the small m here is the mass of sodium chloride and the capital m is the molar mass so by substitution the moles will be equal to 5.85 gram over 58.5 gram per mole and when we solve this we arrived at 0 0.1 mole so the correct answer here is B question 20 a diagram illustrates a ray of light incident on a plane mirror M M prime so this is the mirror we are to calculate the value of alpha this angle you know one one of the laws of reflection states that angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection meaning this angle here is the same as this angle here and you know this angle plus this angle will give us 90 degrees so to get this angle we subtract 40 from 90 so alpha here is what 50 degrees so the correct answer is Question 23. A body of mass 20 kg falls from a height of 10 meters. If the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second square, calculate the velocity of the body just before it touches the ground. So let's analyze this diagram. This is the body. At these heights, the potential energy is maximum. And before it touches the ground, the kinetic energy is what? Maximum. Which means that the potential energy is eventually transformed into kinetic energy. And since energy is neither created nor destroyed, it means that initial energy here will be the same as the final energy 
potential energy will be equal to the kinetic energy. What are we to solve for? We are to solve for the velocity. So let's make V the subject supply through by 2 and divide through by what? M. So that gives us V squared to be equal to 2GH. Taking square root of both sides, we get V to be equal to the square root of 2GH. Where V is the velocity, H is the height from which the body is falling. And then G is the acceleration due to gravity. Now from the question, we know the value of G to be what? 10 and that of H to be what? 10. So we put these values into this. And doing that, we get V to be equal to root of 2 times 10 times 10. That gives us V to be equal to root of what? 200. This implies that V is equal to 14 points. 1 for 2. When V is equal to 14 meters per second. So the correct answer here is B. Question 24. A solution of 250 centimeters cube HCl has a concentration of 2 mole per decimeter cube. Determine the number of moles of the acid. We have to determine the number of what moles. Good. So from the question, we know the volume of the acid and the concentration we have to change the volume from cm cube to decimeters was cube by doing so you divide this by what thousand and that gives you 0 0.250 decimeters cube all right now the formula is C is equal to N over V, where C is the concentration, N is the number of moles, and V is the volume. So we substitute these values into the formula, and we get 2 equal to N over 0 0.250. We cross multiply, and we get N to be equal to us. 0 0.250 by 2. So N is equal to 0 0.50 moles. So the correct answer here is B. Determine the volume of water required to change the concentration of 100 centimeters cube HCl from 0 0.5 mole per decimeter cube to 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube. So here we know the dilution equation is given as C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2. Where C1 is the initial concentration, V1 is the initial volume, C2 is the final concentration and V2 is the final volume. From the question, we know C1 to be 0 0.5 mole per decimeter cube, V2 to be 100 cm cube, and then C2 to be 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube. But we don't know V2 in the known value into C1, V1, C2, V2, we obtain 0 0.5 times 100 is equal to 0 0.1 times V2. This implies that 50 is equal to 0 0.1 by
by V2. So to get V2, we divide through by what? 0 0.1. So that gives us V2 to be equal to 500 centimeters cube. Let's come back to the question. We have to determine the volume of water required to change the concentration. So to get the volume of water added to the initial volume, we have to subtract initial volume from the final volume. So we subtract 100 from 500 and that gives us what? 400 centimeters. So this is the amount of water added to the initial concentration to dilute it. So the correct answer is C. Question number 30. A force moves a body through a distance 50 meters in the direction of the force. If the work done by the force is 45.0 joule, determine the magnitude of the force. No work done is given by the products of the force and the distance. And from the question we know work done, we know the distance through which the body is what moved. So we put those values into this formula and solve for what f. So 45 is equal to for the force by what 15. So to get the force, we divide through by 15. So f is equal to 3.0 newton. Hence the correct answer is a. An electric kettle rated 1.5 kilowatts operates at 200 volts. Determine the current passing through the kettle. So from the question, we know power to be 1.5 kilowatts and the voltage to be what? 200 volts. P is equal to V by I where P is equal to power, I is equal to current, and V is equal to voltage. So knowing these values, we substitute them into this formula. You know, kilo means what? 1000. So that is why we are writing 1000 here. So 1.5 times 1000 is equal to I by 200. So to get I, we divide through by what? 200. And that gives us the current to be 7.5. The correct answer here is A. Question 48. A 215 centimeters cube of 0 0.10 mole per decimeter cube of potassium hydroxide is to be prepared. Calculate the mass of potassium hydroxide required. So from the question, we know the volume and the concentration. Also, you have to make use of two equations here or two formulas here. Concentration is equal to mole over volume. And we know these two from the question. We make and the subject of this to get this. So we can now equate this to this. So we are getting this as what equation 3. This will help us find the mass of the compound. Alright. We add 39, 16, and what? 1. 
to get the molar mass of the compound. So the molar mass here is 56 gram per mole. The mass of potassium hydroxide is equal to 0 0.10 by 0 0.250 by 56. This gives us 1.4 grams. Therefore, the correct answer here is C. Now, if you can still see this writing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still right. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too. So that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.